Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the inscribed angle theorem. This theorem states that the measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. We have our diagram here, the circle G. And we have an inscribed angle, which is DEF, DEF, and the intercepted R. Following our theorem, to find the measure of the inscribed angle DEF, measure of angle DEF, that is equal to one half of the measure of the intercepted arc, which is DF. Let's say our DF here is 60. So this is 60. If this is 60, therefore the measure of DEF, angle DEF, is half of this measure. So this will become 30. So 60 divided by 2, that is 30. So that is the inscribed angle theorem. Let's have the following examples. Our first example is find x using this illustration. And the second one is find y using this second illustration. Let us find x. So 62 following our theorem x will be times 2, so 32 times 2, that is 64. Next, so you can use the theorem. Okay, let us use the theorem. The measure of the angle, which is 32, is equal to 1 half of the intercepted arc. So our intercepted arc is 32, uh, is x. Now to find x, we can multiply by 2. So this will be cancelled out. Then the remaining is x. Now 32 times 2, which is 64. Or you can use mental calculation. In this case, find y. We're looking for y. So the measure of the angle is 2y is equal to one half of the intercepted arc, which is 108. So 2y is equal to 108 divided by 2, that is 54. Now to get y, divide by 2, so y is... 27. Okay. Let's have another example. And now let's have this circle, the circle P, and the following given. We have intercepted arcs and inscribed angles. So we have the given 50 here as the intercepted arc XV and 40, the measure of angle YVW and 45 the measure of VYZ and intercepted arc which is 70 we're going to find the following angles and arc number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 let's start with number 1 Find measure angle x, y, w. Where is x, y, w? x, y, w. Okay, this angle. So we have 45 here. We're going to find the measure of this angle and this angle. So we have a given here, which is 50. And the measure of this angle is half, is half of the intercepted arc. So half of 50 is 25. And this angle is half of the intercepted arc. 
half of 70 is 35. Now, to get the measure of the angle, we're just going to add 25 plus 45. 25 plus 45, that is 70. 70 plus 35, 105 degrees. Again, 25 plus 45, 70 plus 35, 105 degrees. Next, measure of arc VZ. VZ. Our given is 45, the inscribed angle. To find the intercepted arc, times 2. So 45 times 2, this is 90. Okay, 90 degrees. Next, number 3. Measure angle XYZ. Where is XYZ? This angle. So we have 25 plus 45. That is 70 degrees. And number 4. Measure of the arc WY. W-Y W-Y We have a given 40 So times 2 40 times 2 80 Degrees And for our last number Measure angle uh, Measure R X Y So X Y Okay. So measure of the arc XY. So we have 90 here. And this is 80. So 40 times 2. Then this is the missing XY. So we study our circle. We have the given intercepted arcs, 50, 90, 70, and 80. And to complete our one revolution, we're just, we're just going to get the arc XY. So, all we need to do is to add 50 plus 90 plus 70 plus 80. So 50 plus 90, that is 140, plus 70 plus 80, that is 150. So we have here 290. We know one revolution is equal to 360. So 360 minus 290, so 360 minus 290, that will give us... 70 degrees so this is 70 degrees so that's the application of the inscribed angle theorem thank you for watching senior pablo tv